Hi, I'm Monica Zelensky. I'm a Polish-American living in Warsaw, Poland. You might recognize me from TikTok, or if you're a subscriber, you know that I usually make videos in Polish. But right now I wanted to talk in English to reach my English language audience. In today's video, I wanted to talk about my decision to move from the United States to Warsaw, Poland. So let's get started. So as a US born American, I get this question a lot. Why did you move to Poland? And the answer is really difficult to explain in just one sentence or give one reason. It kind of was an evolution of some kind and I never really thought about moving to Poland when I was growing up in Connecticut in the States. Um, although my, both of my parents are Polish, my whole family is Polish, I'm 100% Polish, the thought never occurred to me that I would one day be living in Poland where my ancestors came from. I always was used to the idea that I was going to be living in the United States where I came from, where I was living for my whole life. So I never really planned to move to Warsaw, Poland, um, but the thought kind of was born, I guess, when I was in college. I studied at Southern Connecticut State University. Um, shout out to my owls. So when I was there in my junior year of college, I had the opportunity to study abroad in Warsaw. Now, quick disclaimer, I've been to Poland multiple times beforehand to visit family, to go sightseeing, but it was always with my family and it was a very short period of time. So I did see Warsaw beforehand, but it was very short trips and again, it was with my parents. <laughs> so much different experience when you're alone and a young person versus your kid and your parents drag you around all the sites. So when I was in college and I was doing my journalism degree, I had this opportunity to sign up for a month long course in Warsaw. Now the topic was not even related to journalism at all, it was about Central Eastern history and like geopolitics I believe. So I kind of turned down two different internships at newspapers to go on this trip. So it was a little bit crazy because it wasn't anything to do with my major but I decided, why not, let's, let's go. Also, I didn't have a college experience because I was living at home with my parents to save money because as you all know, college is really expensive. So I, I never really had the chance to have a wild college experience, nothing like that. I was very, I was a you know top student, very, good, very much a good girl, didn't party, didn't do any of that. So I said, okay, this is my chance to kind of break free and do my own thing. So I signed up, I got into the program, I got to Warsaw, I was in a studio apartment with two other girls, I never lived outside of my parents' house, so that was a new experience, and just having to do everything by myself was totally new to me, getting around, going grocery shopping, things like that, so it was a totally, um, I kind of jumped into the deep end of adulthood, uh, but it was a really good learning experience and I had such a good time during this program. We had our classes in the uh, Palace of Culture and Science and it's a really interesting building so I really enjoyed being able to go inside every single day for our classes and overall the, the four week program was phenomenal. Our professor was great, the other American students were really interesting. So I absolutely loved it and I loved all of our free time that we had. Well, there wasn't much free time, but there was some free time and I loved just exploring the restaurants and bars and everything that Warsaw has to offer. It just felt like the city is such a thriving, busy place for for young people and, and for people in general. I just really loved the vibe it was giving off. And it was summertime, which is the best time to be in Warsaw. So I really had a really good, nice, wholesome experience here. But I didn't realize that when I would go home, I would feel like so... I, would, I don't want to say depressed because I don't want to use that term lightly, but I wasn't happy that I had to go back and I couldn't wait to 
move to Warsaw permanently for or at least a longer period of time. In my head, when I went back to Connecticut, I felt like I don't belong here anymore. This is not the place for me. I had a taste of that European lifestyle and that's what I want. That's where I felt most comfortable was in Europe, in Poland. So I just wanted to finish off my final year of college and just get out of there basically because I felt like New Haven was suffocating me. I wasn't meeting interesting people. I hated the small town I was in. And I just, I wasn't happy. I just wasn't happy. So as soon as graduation was rolling around, I found a job, which I will explain in the next video how I got this job. And that's when I decided, okay, I have a job in Poland. I'm going for the summer. Uh, three months was the ticket that I booked, three month period, a, you know, departure and a round trip ticket for three months. That was the plan, uh, <laughs> but plans change. Uh, so when I got to Poland, I was really enjoying my job. I was enjoying the city. Again, I was here during the summertime. So a lot is going, around, going on in the city during the summer. The weather is great. There's a lot of outdoor activities and bars and restaurants. It's just a phenomenal time to be in Warsaw. So I absolutely loved it. I loved my boss. I loved the work I was doing. And as a young person, as a journalist, I had the opportunity to really do a lot of things that I wouldn't have been able to do as someone just starting out in the US. So I had an immense opportunity. I was going to great events and having a really interesting experience here. And when my return date was creeping up, I had to make a very difficult decision and I didn't take it lightly because everyone was expecting me to come home. I mean, okay, you had your fun time, your three months are up, uh, it's time to get back to the real world and get back to work in maybe something more stable or corporate job. That's the American mentality that, okay, you had your fun, but now it's time to grow up, pay bills, get a mortgage, things like that. You have these steps that you're expected to take in your life in America. But I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if that's something I wanted, if that's something that I saw myself doing. And I remember... I, it's, a hard, it's hard for me to talk about the, the one moment that was the absolute deciding factor and I can't believe, okay, I've been here for six years and I've told this story so many times, but fun fact, I told this story on a Polish TV show that made everybody super emotional, so I'm going to try to say it without crying, although if you know, Edyta Gurniak did cry when I told this story, and if you want that story time, leave a comment below on how I made huge Polish celebrities cry on a Polish TV show. So uh, August rolls around, it's like the end of August. Um, the situation was that the project I was hired for wasn't completed yet, and they really wanted me to stay until the fall. Uh, to finish up what I was working on but I had to decide if I want to extend my trip or just go home so I remember it was a rainy day and I was in church in the Catholic Church a beautiful church here in Warsaw and it was uh, the end of the mass and I stayed behind and I think the lights were quite dimmed and it was just it was really gloomy that day and dark and the church was dark and I just remember just sitting in the pew and you know thinking thinking to myself thinking um, in my head to God if you will whatever you believe um, and I, I was pondering and really deeply thinking about what I should do should I go should I stay what is the right answer what is the course of action here and something within me, maybe God, maybe just my subconscious, told me to stay because I have my grandparents here and I never um, felt like I spent enough time with them because I was always in the States and yeah, we would visit and they would visit us as well, but it just wasn't enough, I felt like. And something in me told me that even if you don't stay for your career, stay for your grandparents. 
stay to spend more time with them because you don't know how much time you have left. So a lot of people think that I stayed for different reasons to make a career because I couldn't have one in the States because I was a nobody and some people thought that my green card ended in the States so I had to come back to Poland. I've heard a lot of theories that people had about why I came to Poland and why I'm still here. Also I didn't have a boyfriend here at the time so it wasn't for love or anything like that. I was single when I got here. so. A lot of people have misconceptions about why somebody might make this decision, but in this video I just wanted to set the record straight and now that is a very condensed version of, of what my feeling towards the city are and why I decided to come here. Um, and I, I, I could make a whole separate video about why I decided to stay because <laughs> that was my decision of why, to, why I decided to move to Warsaw. and stay longer than the three months I intended to. But if you want to know more about that story and why I'm, what's keeping me here now, you're gonna have to let me know. I'll give it, this video a thumbs up and a comment and I'd be happy to share what keeps me in Poland instead of the US. So thank you for watching my short little video in English. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you want more of these story times because I've accumulated quite a bit over the six years and I'd be happy to share it with you guys. So thanks for watching and hopefully see you soon. Bye!